Hey, Mech Warriors, it's Manny. I want to first apologize for the bad information I put out in my first video on heat. The tests were good, but I made a few bad assumptions given some information I found online. So in this video, I'm going to correct those mistakes and actually show you the math involved in heat calculation. There are currently four ways that I know heat is generated. First one is moving your mech. The second is using jump jets. The third is being hit by a flamer. No video, sorry guys. And the fourth is actually firing your weapons. There are a couple things in MechWarrior Online that increase heat, and they are standing in lava and also using weapons in different biomes. The current time, these things do not affect heat in MechWarrior 5. I ran with the same Hunchback Vorpi in a few different biomes and always came up with the same results. I also had the mech stand in lava and didn't see the heat rise at all. If you guys can think of any other way heat's generated, please let me know in the comments below. We're going to focus on heat generated when firing weapons because the only thing that can cause your mech to overheat. In this video, I'm going to cover heat generated from firing your weapons, which includes overheating, your heat gauge, your mech's heat capacity, and how your mech dissipates heat. MechWarrior 5 is using a lot of the same stats as MechWarrior Online, so you'll see me reference some numbers that are not present in the game UI, specifically the mech's base heat capacity. I got these numbers from the MechWarrior Online official wiki. I put the link to a specific page on heat that I get the numbers from in the description below. Before we start, I'd like to mention that you can also find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I always enjoy playing with viewers, so if you're looking for someone to drop with, you can hit me up on the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. Your max heat during combat is represented as a percentage scale, 0 to 100 on your HUD. I think the first thing we should cover is overheating because the only reason we care about heat. Your mech will overheat when you generate more than 100% heat. When you overheat, your mech will shut down for safety and will not power back up until its heat is below 100. You can also override the shutdown while your mech is overheated, but it will take internal component damage and if you stay overheated too long, your mech will be destroyed. I'm not sure the exact damage done while overheating, so if this is something you know, please let me know in the comments below. If you're in the middle of a firefight and your mech shuts down from heat, you can override the shutdown. This is done by pressing the default O key. This is useful for when you believe you're taking damage from the overheat will be less than the damage you take from the enemy weapons. You'll be able to move your mech to a safe location until your heat is low enough to fire weapons again. Now you may be asking yourself, how does a medium laser which generates 2.25 heat get represented on the heat gauge? In order to know that, you need to know your mech's heat capacity. All mechs have a base heat capacity of 30. This is a number I've gotten from the official wiki page of MechWare Online. And all engines have built-in heat sinks. The default engine rating for a hunchback is 200. And you get a single heat sink for every 25 engine rating. So a hunchback will have 8 default heat sinks in its engine. Every single heat sink is worth 0.1 cooling and adds 1 heat capacity to, to your total. So if you remove all heat sinks from a hunchback, you will notice that the hunchback's cooling is 0.8, which is the number of heat sinks present in the engine, which is 8. Given all that, we can conclude that a hunchback has 38 heat capacity without any additional heat sinks. Now let's figure out how much heat a single medium laser will display on the heat gauge. So we have 2.25 divided by 38, which is the capacity, times 100 equals 5.9% heat on the heat gauge when a laser is fired. So every time you fire a laser, it will fill up 5.9% of the heat gauge. But when I fire a laser, it only goes up 3% and not 5.9%. The answer to that is that while heat sinks help with heat capacity, they also help with heat dissipation as well. Medium lasers take one second of fire, so in that second, they're generating heat and dissipating at the same time. A single heat sink dissipates 0.1 heat every second. So we have eight internal heat sinks on a hunchback. We'll have eight times 0.1 equals 0.8. We divide that number by 38, which is the heat capacity, and multiply by 100 to get a percentage, and we equals 2.1 heat dissipated every second. Now back to why we only generate 3% heat with a single laser. Medium laser generates 5.9% and takes a second of fire. We must then subtract out 2.1% to get just about 3.8% heat generated. Since the heat gauge only displays whole numbers, there is a bit of rounding. We learn in school that when you hit 0.5, you round up, and when you hit or below 0.5, you round down. But there's also a chance that the heat gauge rounds down to the whole number until it goes above the next whole number, which in this case is 4%. If we fire two lasers at the same time, we should generate 8 to 9 heat because 
5.9 plus 5.9 for the two medium lasers minus 2.1, which is how much heat we dissipate in a second, equals 9.7 heat per second. It still only takes one second to fire both weapons at the same time. MechWarrior Online had a feature called heat scaling, or within a community known as ghost heat, which is an increased heat penalty associated when firing too many of the same type weapons at a single time. MechWarrior 5 does not have this penalty. For example, in MechWarrior Online, you would be penalized for firing more than six medium lasers. In MechWarrior 5, when you fire eight lasers, you generate 44 heat because 5.9 times 8 minus 2.1% for the dissipation in one second equals 45.1 heat. No heat scale. I made a statement earlier about heat not rounding until we get to the next whole number. So we should see 45% and not 44. What could cause this? It was pointed out to me that even though the laser takes a second to fire, the heat takes about one and a quarter to one and a half seconds from the initial firing to completely generate and show on the heat gauge. This would then account for another quarter to a half second of heat dissipation, which would put us below 45 and thus be 44% on the heat gauge. I have already discussed the benefits of heat sinks. So I just want to mention that there are currently two types of heat sinks in the game, single and double. Single heat sinks weigh a ton. Take up a single slot and have a cooling of 0.1. Double heat sinks also weigh a ton, but take up the three slots or a single engine heat sink slot and have a cooling of 0.2. I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful or at least interesting. If you did, then please hit that like button. If you have any questions or your own information about heat, I'd love to hear it. So please leave a comment below. If you'd like to see more content like this, then smash that subscribe button. And as I mentioned earlier, you can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sundays starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till next time, mech warriors, happy hunting.